Jiu-Jitsu athletes. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can level up your Jiu-Jitsu game, make faster progress on the mat, and build strength so you can win more matches and get injured less. If you can successfully balance your strength training and your Jiu-Jitsu training, you'll be a better Jiu-Jitsu athlete and be able to roll harder on the mat and finish more opponents. What's going on guys? My name is Josh Setledge and I am the BJJ Strength Coach. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you how many days you realistically should be lifting for jiu-jitsu. As a jiu-jitsu athlete, building strength is very important because building strength is gonna not only allow you to enhance your jiu-jitsu performance, but it's also gonna massively decrease your risk of injury. Before we get too deep into the video, I wanna let you know that I have a free gift for you. If you wanna learn more about how you can get stronger so you can ultimately win more matches and get injured less, click the link in the description below and you can download a free four-week strength program. As a jiu-jitsu athlete and a strength coach, I've come to realize that everybody in jiu-jitsu needs to lift or at least be working on getting stronger. The fact of the matter is, is that nobody ever got injured because they were too strong and no one ever lost a match because they were too strong. Getting stronger is the number one thing you can do off the mat to improve your performance on the mat. Getting stronger will not only allow you to be more efficient, which will help you use less energy when you roll, but having strength behind all of your techniques allows you to have more effective attacks against your opponent or your sparring partner. Being a stronger athlete is also massively important for decreasing your risk of injury. The stronger your muscles, ligaments, and tendons are, the more resilient they are to the stressors of jiu-jitsu. This means that you'll spend more time on the mat instead of off to the side with an injury. So at this point, you may be thinking, great, I understand that I need to be strong for jiu-jitsu, but I'm already training jiu-jitsu, so how many extra days of strength work do I need to do? When it comes to determining how many days you should lift for jiu-jitsu, my go-to answer is lift as many days as you can, just as long as it doesn't negatively impact your jiu-jitsu training. My company, The Strength Matrix, has successfully helped over 17,000 grappling athletes across the world, and what we've found is that most grappling athletes need anywhere from two to four strength sessions per week. Just for my own curiosity, in the comments below, go ahead and comment how many days or how many strength sessions you're doing per week for jiu-jitsu. Adding in two to four strength sessions per week is enough to stimulate positive progress in building muscle, developing strength, improving explosive power, and decreasing risk of injury while not having a negative impact on your recovery for jiu-jitsu. I should also mention that exceptions do apply. I have personally worked with several jiu-jitsu athletes who like to go to the gym five to six days a week. And I did have one instance where an athlete only went to the gym one day a week. Remember, these are the exceptions, not the rule. So how do you know how many days you need to lift? for jiu-jitsu? Well, it depends. Knowing how many days a week you should lift for jiu-jitsu is going to be on an individual basis. If you don't know how many days a week you should be lifting for jiu-jitsu, I personally suggest that you start with two strength sessions per week and repeat that for a total of four weeks. If you need help getting started, I've included a free four-week strength program that you can download all you need to do is just click the link in the description below. This strength program is two days a week for four weeks total. And it's gonna give you exercises that are the best bang for your buck when it comes to developing strength for jujitsu and improving your mobility. After doing two strength sessions per week for about four weeks, I suggest adding in one to two more strength sessions per week as you see fit. If you're a competitor and you do anywhere from six or more jujitsu sessions per week, you probably only need about two strength sessions per week. Anything more than that, you might start to run into some some recovery issues that will have a negative impact on your jiu-jitsu performance. On the other end, if you only train jiu-jitsu twice a week as a hobbyist, you can probably handle adding anywhere from three to four strength sessions per week before it starts to negatively impact your jiu-jitsu training. In closing, if you're a jiu-jitsu athlete, you need to lift and you need to get stronger. Getting stronger is the number one thing you can do off the mat to improve your performance on the mat. Nobody ever lost a jiu-jitsu match because they were too strong and nobody ever got injured because they were too strong. To get started on building strength for jiu-jitsu, I suggest you start out with two strength sessions per week for a total of four weeks. After that, you can add one to two strength sessions in your training week as you see fit. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Josh Setledge and I am the BJJ Strength Coach. If you got value out of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. I got a lot more great content coming out for you guys and feel free to leave a a comment below on what you found most valuable or most interesting about this video. As a thank you and a free gift to you for watching this video, I have a free four-week strength program that you can download. All you got to do is just click the link in the description below. Catch you guys later. Peace.